In this video, we'll look at how to create a manual sponsored products campaign that uses product targeting. Manual targeting gives you increased control over your targeting and allows you to split campaigns based on objectives as well as to better control your spend, helping you bid more competitively on targets that perform well for you. We know that advertisers who use manual targeting for their sponsored products campaigns for the first time see an increase in sales the next month compared to those who haven't. Based on that, we recommend this approach to all our advertisers. Product targeting allows you to manually target individual products or product categories so that your ads are eligible to appear on Amazon shopping results pages as well as product detail pages when the shopping queries used by shoppers have relevance with the product you're targeting. This can help shoppers find your products when shopping for items on Amazon or browsing other product detail pages. With product targeting, you can target by ASIN to allow your ad to be shown to customers browsing specific products. If you haven't heard of ASINs before, they're Amazon's unique identifier for individual products. In this case, when selecting your target, you'll be able to browse for specific ASINs or products from the list, upload a list of ASINs that are relevant to your campaign, or target suggested products by the system that are similar to the product in your ad. You can also choose to target by category, and in that case, you'll select a broad category that's relevant for the product you're advertising to allow your ad to be shown to customers browsing any ASINs inside that chosen category. When choosing category targeting, you can refine categories to have greater control over where and when your ads appear. Depending on which sponsored ad solution and categories you're using, you'll have a different set of options. For sponsored products, you can refine categories per brand, star rating, price and shipping eligibility, as well as genre for books and product age range for toys. For sponsored brands, you can refine categories per brand, star rating and price. Each new refinement should help you target your ads more specifically. With shipping eligibility, you can target prime or non-prime shipping eligible products. For example, with genre and product age range targeting, you can easily refine your targeting for nuanced categories such as books and toys. When refining the categories, we reduce the number of eligible ASINs within the targeted group of products, which means that we're filtering and trying to be more relevant. Now I'd like to take us inside the advertising console so we can see how to set up a product targeting campaign. So here I am in my advertising console. Let's say my goal is to cross sell a complementary product as shoppers are actively browsing for my own products. The very first thing I'll do is go to create campaign and select sponsored products as my campaign type. When I'm creating my campaign, I'm going to use a standard naming convention that helps me easily identify my strategy and goal. In this case, let's call it SP for sponsored products manual for the type of targeting, chocolate as the name of the product I will be advertising, and then individual products, and then type the strategy, so cross sell in this case. So progressing downwards, I don't have any portfolios in my advertising console but you can use portfolios to group campaigns with a budget cap. I'm gonna set my start date to begin right away and I'll leave it with no end date. A 10 pound daily budget is a good amount to start with, but of course, advertise within your budget and set a budget that makes sense for you. Anything related to your budget and spend is highly personal. And finally, for this section, to conclude it, I'm going to select manual targeting. From here, I'm going to create an ad group. Remember, this is simply a way of organizing products within my campaign. I'm gonna give my ad group a name, so chocolate bars. Following naming my ad group, I'm going to scroll downwards and search for the products that I want to advertise in the section below. 
I can do this by simply searching for the products or entering the products ASINs. And if I want to find the ASIN of the product, I will go to the product detail page and enter the ASIN from there. So once on the product detail page, the ASIN can be found by scrolling downwards and going to the additional information section. I'm going to copy and paste this ASIN and add it to my campaign. As you can see, it populates to the right hand side of the screen. And then moving downwards, I need to choose either keyword targeting or product targeting. In a manual campaign, you're not able to target both keywords and products in the same campaign. You must create separate campaigns for each targeting type. So I'm going to select product targeting in this instance. We know my goal is to cross sell my chocolate bar when shoppers are actively browsing on my complementary line of chocolate moulds. I'm going to use the individual products option for this. We're going to come back to the categories option shortly so that you can see that too. Now you'll see there are a few options here. I can use the suggested list of individual products and target them all using the add all button or I can select them from the list, clicking add to add them one by one. This list is populated with products that Amazon has already identified as similar to the product in my ad. I could also use the search function to search by product name or by ASIN. When I search, I can search for my own products or ones from my competitors. So in the search field, I can enter the ASIN of the chocolate mold, my complementary product. So in the search field, I can enter the ASIN of the chocolate mold, my complementary product. So if I am targeting my own products, I would add them here. You likely already have this list of ASINs, so you can drop your ASINs right in here, or you can alternatively upload a list of ASINs, which is a really great idea if you have a long list of products that you would like to target that are relevant for this particular campaign. And as I mentioned, your ASINs can be uploaded here and they can be yours or any ASIN across Amazon. We provide a really straightforward template in a CSV format so you can download that, add the ASINs that you're looking to target, and then re-upload the file here. In terms of bidding, I'm going to leave the default bid in place here. You can see that Amazon will provide a suggested bid and bidding range, and these are calculated from a group of winning bids for ads that are similar to mine. So I can take advantage of that if there's multiple and select apply all, and that would apply to the whole list. Now scrolling downwards, the last thing I can do is add negative product targeting. And as we talked about, negative product targeting will prevent my ad from displaying when a shopping query matches whatever I add here. And as you can see, you can opt to exclude brands or you can opt to exclude individual ASINs as well. So there's a couple of reasons I won't actually add in negative targets right now. Firstly, this is my first time setting up this campaign and I don't actually have any metrics yet. So we do really recommend that you would wait a week or two in order to gather insights before adding in negative targeting. And secondly, I'm only targeting one product with this campaign as opposed to an entire category that may be hundreds or even potentially thousands of products. So the campaign as it is, is already narrowly targeted. So that's all there is for an individual product targeting sponsored products campaign. I'd simply click launch campaign in blue and my campaign will go live. I do want to take us through category targeting as well. So I'm going to go back to the targeting section just here. Again, category targeting aligns really well with goals like launching a new product or launching into a new marketplace or also expanding your category presence. So you'd want to make sure that you've got that in mind and have it represented in your campaign name. So in this case, rather than selecting individual products, 
I'm going to go ahead and use the categories option. So as we can see, Amazon has already identified a category for my product, this one, and I can target that category by clicking on the add button here. A great tool that I think is really useful is the refine option beside this. Even if I don't end up refining further, you can see that when I actually click on refine, it does allow you to enter various details and it also says the amount of products that I'm targeting. So when selecting that category, I know if I'm going to target 10 products or 100 or 1000. I could end it here or I could also go back and go to the search function within the categories tab. And here I can find other potential relevant categories to target. So categories start broad, but as you drill down, they get quite specific. So I am going to search for a category name, in this case, confectionery. Here is the confectionery category and I can click add, choose a suggested bid as the system does not have one by default. We recommend keeping this low if there's no bid suggested. You can adapt it as you see fit. You want to select add target. And again, I can choose negative product targeting if I wish, and then simply launch campaign in the same way as before.